hi y'all welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be filming a video for you all today it has been way too long life just keeps getting crazier and i'm so sorry i know i've been so inconsistent with uploading the last couple months and i'm gonna try to get better at it i'm gonna be fully transparent with y'all um i did only technically i only finished one book in february so that's why you have not seen a wrap up for february i only finished one book i was reading like th three other books but i've not finished them yet so you'll see that in the february march combined wrap up that i'll do at the end of this month and yeah so and i'm not doing a tbr like i'm not doing a tbr video i'm just literally going with my mood because it has been changing way too much lately so let me just get into what i'm bringing to you all today it is a book haul Woo! first book haul of 2023 okay i know i said like around the new year that i was like i'm gonna go on a book buying ban I wasn't gonna buy any books some things happen and i bought quite a few books um actually a couple were two were gifts from a friend one was like a book swap with another friend and then the rest i did buy so i know i don't need to justify it it's just i go through these phases where i'm like i don't need to buy books but then i don't buy books but then all these other books look so intriguing and then I'm like, mm, I need them. And then I go and I buy them. Okay y'all, let's get into the first book haul of 2023. The first book is technically, okay, I said it was a book swap if I said that and I keep it in. I said it was a book swap, but my friend, my friend, my West Virginia was coming out of me. So sorry. Um, my friend, Hannah June writes from Bookstagram. She was getting rid of a few of her books and she so kindly just sent me a picture of them and said, do I want any of them? You know, it's free, she'll send them to me, whatever. And she had The Dating Charade by Melissa Ferguson. And I've really not read a ton by her. I've, I tried listening to, oh, what is it called? <gasps> What's it called? I listened to, tried to listen to Meet Me in the Margins probably a year ago or more. Uh, I don't know if it was the audio or what, but it was not for me. It was just pushing the the calm, like the rom-com part, like the comedy part, but it felt very forced and I didn't really enjoy it. So I DNF'd it. But Hannah really enjoyed this one and I don't want that one experience from Melissa Ferguson's other book to dictate my experience with another one of hers. So I so gladly told Hannah June Wrights that I would take this one if she didn't care and she didn't so she sent it to me and I'm really excited to read it this is her letter to me she's so sweet y'all such a sweet friend and I love her the next one is the shadow and bone trilogy y'all shadow and bone has my heart I did not think that it was gonna be for me I almost gave up and was never gonna read it and speaking of Hannah June Wrights, she was hosting a big buddy read on Bookstagram. So she was like, anybody that wants to read um, Shadow and Bone with me this month, let me know and we'll do a big group chat and we'll read it and then discuss it. And I was not going to join it. I had told her I was. Then I kind of changed my mind and I was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. And then I was like, you know what? At the last minute, I joined. I listened to the audio because I ended up listening, looking up the audiobook and listening to it. Loved the audio. And I loved it so much that I got the trilogy. Y'all, I'm not sure if it's still this way or not. But Amazon had the whole trilogy for $13.49, I think. $13.49 for a brand new box set. You can't tell me that that's not an amazing deal for three books. So I'm really excited. Look at how just gorgeous these covers are. Guys, I'm really not a fantasy girl, but this really was so easy to read. You know, I listened to it. Um, 
to get into. I hear that the second one really picks up and there's a lot of action, not as much romance. Let's be honest, I'm really here for the romance. Like, I like the fantasy part, but I'm the Grisha verse, but I'm really here for the romance. And then see, or Rise, Ruin and Rising. I'm trying not to look things up so they don't get spoiled. So, so excited about this. If you read it, please let me know. I mean, there are some harsh reviews on Goodreads, but I have also heard her other series, Lee Berdugo, Lee Berdugo's Six of Crows series is wonderful. And this takes place in like the Grisha verse Six of Crows does, but years later from Shadow and Bone, I think this might've been Lee Berdugo's like first official works, which was Shadow and Bone. And I just hear that her writing just keeps getting better and better as she's gone on and that people love Six of Crows. The next one was a recommendation, honestly, by my childhood, um, well, not childhood, my high school best friend. She read this, like, in 2020, I think, 2020, 2021. Can we just talk about how I hate how they put these stickers on the books? Like, I don't give a flip if it's from Netflix. Like, I don't care if Netflix, it's not from Netflix. I don't care if it's gonna be a Netflix film. Like, don't put that on my book. I don't like it. Anyways, that's my rant. My um, book pet peeves. I hate it when they, like the Shadow and Bone book, I don't know if you saw, it had an unremovable Netflix sticker. This one, it is removable, but the, the type of texture and like, it looks kind of dirty almost, but it's like this like, like dated looking like textured cover. I don't even know how to describe it. Like it's like speckled. I don't even know if you can see it. It is removable, but I feel like it's going to rip up the cover. Anyways, I'm getting on rant. Guys, it's Love and Gelato by, who is this by? Jenna Evans-Welch. It's a YA romance, and my friend loved, loved, loved this book, and I was supposed to read it a couple years ago after she finished it, and I never got to it. I was just not in the mood to read YA, but after reading like Shadow and Bone, which it wasn't super YA, but it was very easy to understand. I think that's why I enjoyed it so much because it was YA. It was super easy to understand. It was clean. There was just like one makeout session and it wasn't crazy. Um, so it kind of has me in the mood to try a little bit more YA just for the simple fact that um, they can be on the cleaner side, but we all know that it can it cannot be on the clean side but I know for sure that this is clean she loved it and then my friend Laura um from bookstagram she read this and she's like in her 30s so like it doesn't matter what age you are like you can read YA books you know and she loved this she's been going through a similar life circumstance as me um with certain family things and we really connect with that and we were both having a really hard week was it last week or two weeks ago and she told me like Bailey you had to read Love and Gelato like I felt like I was on an Italian vacation when I read this book and it just really helped her and so I thought you know I've got to be like Laura and see if it helps me cope <laughs> with things going on so there's that and I've, I've gotten all these through like over the span of like literally the last like two and a half three months so I didn't just buy all these recently and then speaking of Laura, I have um, a bookmark in this one, but speaking of Laura, guys, I don't think that this is completely clean, but Laura, lo Laura reads like a ton of books, like all across the board. And this was one of her favorite reads of 2022, Very Sincerely, Very Sincerely Yours by Carrie Winfrey. It was literally like three bucks at Books A Million at the end of... December I think she gave me a heads up on like of where like content could be I'm gonna try it uh, she said it wasn't like crazy so when I start it, I'm just gonna have her try to refresh my like tell me like where I might want to skip or whatever and we'll see so very sincerely yours by Carrie Winfrey I don't even know what half of these like I'm, I'm not going through the synopsis guys like I'm sorry I'm just trying to give you a book haul and then the next is the infamous Becky Wade her brand new book um, if you don't know she is a Christian fiction author this is her most recent release she did her own Kickstarter and if I'm not mistaken she self-published this book and I supported her Kickstarter and got the signed copy 
which I've gotten other another sun copy from her website before and look at her handwriting like Becky Wade has some gorgeous handwriting I'm so excited for this I have heard some mixed reviews like people love it or they really didn't like it so we will see I usually love Becky Wade I'm very excited to read this also how do we feel about cartoon covers there's times that I absolutely adore them like the next book the cheat sheet I really actually love this cover I like this one but then there's others like I really don't like this one like she kind of looks evil what are our thoughts on like cartoon covers next book is the cheat sheet by Sarah Adams I have never read anything by Sarah Adams I am currently actually listening to an audiobook by her for the very first time it's the off-limits rule I'm enjoying it thoroughly I'm about 40% in really loving it but this is the first book I've ever you know purchased of her and it's the cheat sheet by Sarah Adams Oshina really loved this book and I had seen so much hype like a year or two ago when it first came out my goodness there was so much hype and it is clean I'm pretty sure clean and it's just secular rom-com I'm very excited to try this my other friend Bailey she recommended it she has a book too below and I'll tag her and she has bookstagram so I'll tag her but I was like I had to use up a gift card for books a million and I asked for people's recs on what I should get on bookstagram and Bailey told me that I should totally check this out and I was like you know what she is like the third or fourth person that has told me personally that like, I need to read this so thank you Bailey and Oshina and all the other people that has told me I need to read this we're checking it out and then next to a sweet friend um sent me these and the first one is The Rose and the Thistle by Laura France it is a Christian historical and it sounds so good I'm pretty sure it's Scottish and it's recently released as well yeah it's I think it's about the British crown and I do think that there is Scottish influence in this beautiful beautiful cover I'm so thankful that my sweet friend was so willing to send this and just share in the generosity and then she also sent me the maid of Bally McCool oh my gosh guys am I butchering this the maid of Bally McCool by Jennifer Dobble again I have never read a Jennifer Dobble it's a Christian fiction oh, look at this cover and this one is like Irish vibes I think yes I think this one's Irish vibes which is really interesting because I've not really read books that are like set in Ireland or have like Ireland influence or Irish influence and that is a huge part of my ancestry especially my it's my dad's side of the family we are I'm mainly like German and Irish like huge part of my mom's family is all German I have very strong German heritage and then on my dad's side I think it was Irish and German as well so and I just love like family history like ancestry stuff so someday I do eventually want to go to Germany and Ireland all the things and I'm really excited to read this I've as you all know in 2022 I have read some historical fiction mainly Christian and I really thoroughly enjoyed it I used to say it was not for me but I have really loved a lot of them and so I'm really excited to dive into these and to see how much I love them and I've seen amazing reviews about them I'll probably I'll probably join the hype so y'all that is my book haul I know I didn't go too deep into what they were about or whatever I'm not trying to be so windy even though I've been talking for 20 minutes already and I didn't even go over the synopses so I hope you all enjoyed my first book haul of 2023. I hope everyone is doing so well. I cannot believe we're in March. It is absolutely flying by. Life has been crazy um, in some good ways and in some bad ways. Um, it's been quite stressful lately, but I'm so thankful to be able to sit down tonight and film this video for you. I have so missed just regularly uploading. I was uploading like a couple times a week. Um, I hope to upload more frequently at least once a week on a more regular basis again here soon I'm hoping life slows down just a little just a little bit for me I'm not used to being busy so like I'm actually struggling with like balancing like where I put my time 
and I've also been implementing a lot of Bible reading lately over, over like, over just like book reading. You know what I mean? Like I've been prior prioritizing the Bible much more than I've been reading fiction and nonfiction. So that's also played a big role in it. So yeah, just a little book reading update. Hopefully I read more books this month, but I'm thoroughly enjoying reading my Bible so much. I hunger and thirst for the Lord and his word. I'm so thankful to have the opportunity and the privilege to be in his word and to have that at my fingertips. It's truly been so helpful. Um, still loving the Bible recap. It's amazing. I got my, a couple of friends on it. Um, my friend Sarah, she has done it, is doing it because of mine and Lindsay's like recommendation and she's been loving it. And we were both hesitant, like me and Sarah were hesitant to do the Bible recap. And I took the plunge and me and my mom just are loving it. We do it at night before we go to bed. And sometimes we spend two hours just reading and talking about what we, t you know, read that night and listening to Tara Lee's videos and all the things. It's just been so great. And then it's so fun to hear Sarah and say how much she's enjoyed it too. So let me know if you're also reading in your Bible and let me know of any books that you picked up recently that you're really excited to read. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And I just did want to say that I did pick the two winners from my 400 subscribers giveaway. Um, I put them in the description box and I had sent their books to them. So thank you so much for entering that as well. Y'all, I hope to see you so very soon and I hope you have a great week. I love you all. Bye.